right well crabbing and fishing fans it's been a while since i've done anything this is going to be a trial and error session where i am going to use a pre-made jig and attempt to make a bucktail for the very first time so i make no promises i don't know how it's going to turn out i don't know if it's going to look good i don't know if it's going to look bad but what i can do is uh tell you that I'm going to give it my best shot so you can see some of my supplies here and of course any good uh, Saturday non-fishing project needs some uh, amino acids and some brain power so here you see I got my bottle of uh, Frosé Rosé I can crack that open get myself a swig so I said the uh, jig heads are pre-made. I got some sparkle flash here, some silver I want to put in. This is <laughs> this is real deer hair. So that's probably the highlight of this session. It is uh, a deer that my dad harvested um, during New Jersey seven day firearm which really is only six days so it's six day firearm just uh last month in december 80 years old he got a what came out to be a seven point buck and it's always exciting to see uh you know it's exciting to see your parent get excited about some uh things of of the past so yeah this is real deer deer tail hair and I went down to one of our local sports shops this morning. And they had some tools that I needed. So I got some straight cutting scissors and uh, the flash that you see. I'm going to see, uh, see how this works out. Again, I make no promises. This is the first time I've ever tried to make a bucktail. This is what happens when a fisherman gets bored, I guess. Oh, no. See, I'm already messing up my pre-mades over here. This is just some extra hair. We're going to tuck that back in this bag here. And like most folks, you, you buy those pre-season, this is I call them, pre-season tails off of eBay or even out the sports shop. They had some down there, different colors. Never seen a chartreuse deer, but they got chartreuse deer, deer tail here. Um, I'll put it back in the bag here and hold it. These are my clippings, so they're going to go in my brown bag here. I'll scoop them away. I'm going to try to, I don't know save as much as I can I guess I can look through there and see what can be utilized at a later time these are only half ounce jigs um, again just practicing it's going to be predominantly uh, well, predominantly white but I am I want to put a couple couple strands of this uh, flash silver in them You know, whatever likes, uh, whatever likes, likes. I'm not going to use too many. Um, I don't know. Call me what you want. I'm going to clip one on, clip a couple off of here and see how they, see how they fit in. I don't know. Just hang with me. I'm not going to be setting any speed records here, I guarantee you that. Um. I don't know how this is going to go at all. I don't have, you'll see, uh, many different uh, ways of doing this. They got the got the uh, fly tying vise a lot of folks are using. This I just pulled right out of my sewing kit, but stay tuned. <laughs> Got to get this knot out of my line. 
Okay, I'm back. I mean, like I said, I know you, you got all these fancy tools out there that you can use, but I come from an era where uh, you use what you got, so that's what I'm going to do. Again, like I said, this little piece just it came out of a <laughs> regular old sewing kit. I don't know. We're going to see how it works for our purposes. Use some good old-fashioned duct tape. D-U-C-K, not D-U-C-T. All right, so got our hair clipped and shaped. We got some uh, silver flash, and let's see how it works. i uh, to uh, put a couple wraps on. My understanding is this will help hold the hair in place while we're doing our thing. We will see if that is indeed the case. Again, I this is the first time. Again, we're not going to be setting any speed records, okay? All right, so I think we got a nice little coating here. I'm going to take the first, uh, uh, what do you call it, a bunch? I'm going to take the bunch of hair, clip the first end there. I'm going to set that down for a second. I'm sure that's where. Uh, Sure, that's where a vice would come in handy, right? But anyway, I think we explained we don't have a vice, we're doing it the old fashioned way. All right, so that's gonna have a little bit of a lead on it, so that's good. Tail hang. Now, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna wrap a couple, but I'm gonna make sure that it's on here lightly, okay. Just want to hold that in place and the reason it's light is because undoubtedly we're going to want to move some of these strands around spread them out and just like that i'm ready to put on this second one you see i had pre-cut these already so just make life a little bit easier tell you what It's like anything you do and make, if I'm actually able to catch a fish on this, you know how satisfying that would be to catch a fish on a bucktail that you made yourself? Uh oh, got a lot falling out the back here. So, take it and we'll add it to this other group maybe. We'll see. But that's the side there. That's the top. I'm gonna to put my little thimble up there or whatever you want to call it. Oh, see how my hair is trying to sneak out the back on me. But we will cinch that down once we get everything situated the way we like it, the way we want it. See while it's stay with me. You can do it. I'm going to trim it off even again, just so that I have a basis to start. There. Alright, so I'll put that there. This is where and why I assume a vice would be very handy. But again, we want to ensure we hold that in place. some of these on the bottom and then we'll try to spread them out before we cinch down on the hair
this does take some patience so, so if you don't have them it's going to be difficult now this isn't perfect but it's mine still have to put the silver flake in fleck for my first try I'm not disappointed that's for sure put some silver flash in there try and put one put a couple on each side here just you know you don't know which direction the fish are coming from I know I don't right there put that in there and I'm going to go ahead and crank down on Now, there's a way to tie these off that I may or may not be prepared for. I really need a piece of thread to fold under, but let's see if some monofilament will work for us or uh, fluorocarbon. Just make a little loop here. And then I'm going to continue wrapping around this a couple times, right? Yeah, I think it should be good for the wrap. We're going to cut this. And cut that. Stick it through the fluorocarbon. And if all goes well, the fluorocarbon. It's going to pull that through for us. And it'll be locked in. Now. Okay. So. And you're like, man, that looks like a mess. He's got a beard. He's got a hair all over the place. Well. I'm going to take next. An exacto knife. Put my hands on it. I'm going to trim around the edge. Carefully. So be careful. Go around here. Clean him up. Give him a good shave. Anybody who's harvested a deer knows that this hair will dull out even the most ambitious blade so that's that I'm going to clean this up obviously a little bit better but I think overall it's not bad remember it's only a half ounce now I still have uh, some cleaning up to do around here I'm gonna straighten up that beard but what I'm going to do here is see if I can seal around my edges. Well, put that nice, uh, this is called uh, head cement. I don't know if it'll work any better than super glue. I've seen folks use some kind of fingernail stuff. But uh, I'm not going to be over in the women's department looking for fingernail supplies. 
That's just me. So I'm gonna use this. All right, I'm gonna let this. It seems like it's setting up pretty quick. So this, I like that. Well, keep them off the hair. Yeah, I like that. It's setting up pretty quickly. So again, that's uh, some head cement. And again, I know everybody out there is gonna say, "Oh man, that's a terrible job." Well, you obviously missed when I said that this is my first try. So be nice all right so far i'm happy with it i'm gonna finish cleaning it up get a little photo of it and then uh sit and stare at it until i can actually use it and see if it'll catch a fish so otherwise thank you for watching if you like this kind of content please like please subscribe and if you're feeling real ambix ambitious Leave me a comment. I'll respond. Crabbing and fishing. I'm out.